Welcome to the Business Behind the Scene podcast with Francesca Moy, where we talk all about real business problems, real solutions, and getting actual results in business. Hello, hello, and welcome to episode number 40 of Business Behind the Scene. Now, can you believe we are at 40? I honestly can't believe it. It's so exciting. So exciting to run this podcast and get to talk to you guys every single week. And um, what I love about this is that I'm going to listen to this podcast back and I'm going to think like, oh my gosh, that's crazy how my mindset was when my business was at the 2 million version. And then in five years time, then my business will be at 20 million. I'll be like, oh my gosh, how different I was, how different I sounded. Um, and I also loved, would love to hear back, hearing the growth um, in my journey. And that is something that I keep talking about it with lots of business owners. I say, don't ever stop growing in your business, in your mindset, because your business can't grow without you growing your mindset, right? And I, I get people that, that tell me, Francesca, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how your clients do it uh, because, you know, it's single for you to be successful. Like, you know, you are, um, you know, you don't have kids, you don't have family. It's so easy. It's just you. How, you know, how complicated can it be? And I'm like, all right, well, that is a little bit of an excuse because I've got lots of clients that are very successful and following my strategy and they have kids and they have family and they have responsibilities like we all do. So, um, that is a cop out. A lot of people do that. They find people that are successful and then they make an excuse of why it's so easy for them to be that successful. I remember when I was younger, I was looking at people that were, um, you know, famous Hollywood stars and I was like, it's easy for them to be fit. That's part of the job. That's part of the business. They have to be fit for business so they can pay for someone to go and make them work out. I can't do that. And then guess what? Now I do that. So the thing is, it was an excuse. I thought that I had to be a famous multi-billionaire to be able to be fit. And I don't. I just need to love my body and make this a priority rather than make a priority eating pizza and pasta. <laughs> so, but the thing is, I would have never got the success that I had in losing weight and the success that I had in my business if I didn't put that as a priority. And when you put something as a priority, you do become a little bit obsessed about it. You do become a little bit um, intense about it. And I love it because a lot of people are like, oh God, like that person is intense. Yeah, that's why they're successful. <laughs> so when, when you Google the word obsession, the state of being obsessed with some, someone or something is an idea or thought that continually preoccupies or intrudes on a person's mind. That is very interesting because being obsessed, we have this negative connotation with the word being obsessed, but, obsessed, but is it negative? Because it's like keep thinking about something or someone, right? So this is what an obsession is. And if you want to be successful at something, you need to focus on it. If you want to um, get successful in losing weight, you need to all the time think about it. You can't think about part of the day because if you don't think about a part of the day, you're going to start to eat cake and then go, oh, I forgot about my obsession that I wanted to get healthy, right? So it's important to understand that there's no such a thing as balance. <laughs> when you want to get massive results, when you want to get take massive actions, you have to forget to try to be balanced. Balance is, I believe balance is just ruining so many people's expectation around being successful. So getting obsessed when you want to get good at something, that means that you have to put 100% of your energy into what you want to achieve. So if you want to become a really good singer, you need to get obsessed about it. You need to get learning. You need to get singing. You need to get studying music. You need to get obsessed about it. You need to spend most of your day doing that. My, my brother is an incredible musician. And when I grew up, my dad would force him to spend hours on the piano. And my brother did not want to. He didn't want to at first. But then 
by doing it every single day then he became obsessed and then he started to really love it and then it became a thing that he couldn't not do so are you really you want to achieve something so think about something that you want to achieve Right, think about that either in business or in a relationship or in your health or with your kids or with your dogs or with your partner, whatever it is, right? You need to think about you want to achieve something. So if you talk about business, you want to achieve a hundred K this year. Fantastic. How does that look like? If you don't get obsessed about it and put a hundred percent of your energy into this, in six months' time you're gonna go, Oh, I forgot about my goal. I didn't achieve it because I didn't make it a priority because I didn't focus on it and I started to, you know, have my um, focus in way too many places. So you will overcome all your fears and objections when you decide that you're going to achieve it. When you decide, when you make that decision that you are going to achieve it, that you are going to go through it, there is nothing that's going to stop you. Starve your fears and feed your focus. We need to see you really focusing on the things that you want to achieve so that you become a master at it. If you think about tennis player, they are obsessed with tennis. They play tennis all the time. They, they, you know, they're brushing their teeth and they're moving their hand to like go like, oh yeah, this is how I should do it. If you've ever seen someone getting passionate about something and learning new, for example, I learned to dance salsa and as I, when I was learning to dance salsa, I got obsessed about it. I got obsessed about it. I was dancing salsa while I was brushing my teeth. I was dancing salsa before I went to bed. I was dancing salsa in my dreams. I was, in, my feet would just move every single moment of my day. So that's how I became a really good salsa dancer is because I was, I got obsessed about it. And so the other day I wanted to learn how to play guitar and the pain was greater than my willingness, my decision of doing it. So I gave up. So how many times are you giving up on something because you're not choosing to become obsessed about it? That is everything. When you, when you accept that you're not going to have balance for the beginning, you're just going to be obsessed about one thing, if that's okay, then that's when you're going to be successful at it. So why should you be a, should you get obsessed? Well, practice make it perfect. When you're obsessed about something and you do it over and over and over and over again, you're going to get good at it. When the focus goes, energy flows. So when you really focus on that one thing, like for example, if you want to become a really good public speaker, you, that's going to become your obsession. You're going to study, you're going to do research, you're going to watch other speakers, you're going to talk about it, you're going to surround yourself with, the, with other people that want to speak or that do speak, you're going to ask questions. It's going to be mostly what you talk about most, all, all of the time. I remember when I was growing up and I was surrounded by successful people in different areas of their lives and I'd be thinking, oh my God, they're obsessed. And I used to judge them. And then I realized that that is the key of success. If you are not allowing yourself to just go all in into something you're not going to be able to be super successful at it you might be okay at it but you're not going to be able to be the first the first if you're in a race you might get to second or third or fourth but if you want to be the first you have to get obsessed that is the key right and i know that some people are like oh i don't need to be first i'm okay to be third okay if that's how you want to live, that's fine. But if you truly want to succeed at something, if you want to get be the first in line, you have to put that energy in. You will look for ways to get better at something, right? You get you look for ways to improve your technique, your and your speech, your whatever it is, right? You won't be distracted. Nothing can. When I start the business, nothing could take my focus away from it. Nothing. I was like a machine, right? I was so focused. And I had a friend of mine that, um, you know, she had kids while she was building a business. And she was saying, I had to make a choice. I was going to be obsessed with my kids. I was going to be obsessed with the business. And I chose the business because for the future of the kids. I chose the business because it was going to bring the kids an ultimate amazing lifestyle. So I had to do it. I had to sacrifice my mother, motherhood, at the beginning and have my husband do most of the things in the house for the kids so that I could focus and get obsessed about business. 
And is it fun to be around people that are obsessed? No, not really, because they're going to talk about that topic all the time. But what if we can just appreciate it? What if we can just understand that it's a phase? And what if we can just be the support? Work on getting good at one thing so that you can truly succeed at it. So repetition is what makes you outstanding at something rather than doing it once and never, never succeed it. So when you get obsessed about something, you, I would love you guys to really look for mentors and people that have done it before you. So if you want to look at uh, becoming like, you know, I always look for the next thing I'm going to learn. So I'm going to find someone that has been through their experiences, they have done, they've gone through it, they succeeded, they've gone on the other side, and those are the people that I want to work with. Find a coach or a mentor that can help you so that you can be consistent and you work on an area that you need to focus on every single day. Read and study it, and there is just one way to do something. There's so many other ways. There isn't just one way to do something. There's so many ways to do it. You need to find the things that work for you and get obsessed about it and really, really master it. So how do you get obsessed about something? You visualize it. You consistently visualize what you want. You think about how would it feel. You think about how will you behave when you have that. You start to visualize, you start to think about it and you start to act that way. Even though it seems crazy. And I remember, I used to judge people. They were like, um, they're not even there yet. And they're already talking like that. What, what the hell? Write down your goals. Be committed to your goals. And what do you want? And why do you need to focus on this? What, is gonna, what, what does that mean to you? What is going to mean when you achieve it? Read about it. Study about it. Do your research about it. Don't ever give up. See the bigger picture and just continue to become the person that you need to become to achieve that. What happens if you don't do it? What happens if you don't achieve that? How would that affect you, your loved ones, your family? Really focus on how is this going to change everybody's life, not just yours. And remember, if you're focusing on too many things, you can't put 100% into it. So you need to stream down and go, okay, this is what I want to achieve. This is what I'm going to need to learn right now to achieve that. So I'm going to put all my energy into this. And then eventually that that will become second nature. It's like now when I want to dance salsa, I just put some music on and I dance. I don't have to practice every single day. I don't have to, I just know how to dance. When I was learning how to go on a bike, it was exactly the same. At the beginning, if I didn't do it for two days, I would fall flat again. But then now I just pick up a bike and I just know how to do it. So it's about, you need to get obsessed right now. It's not going to be forever. But you've got to be willing to spend the time right now to get obsessed about it so that you can achieve it. You are the only one that can choose this. People can't make you. You need to choose that this is what you want and you need to go and get it. Don't give up if you fell. Everybody falls. Everybody sleeps. But what? Are you going to give up? Or are you going to keep fighting? Are you going to keep standing back up? Are you going to keep working out what didn't work and go and get it? And if you ever get in doubt, do it for your future self. Everything that I do... Every time I get obsessed about a new topic, I'll do it for my future self. I'll do it for that person that is in the future and knows that we need this as a milestone to get to the next level. So what if there's no balance? Why are we searching for balance? Balance is what has ruined so many of us because we're trying to have a balanced life, but it's not such a thing. Nothing is balanced. When you, when you are younger, you go to school and th- your whole life is school. When you grow up, your whole life is work. <laughs> when you get married, your whole life is getting married. You, there's not, no such a thing as balance. But the thing is, balance will happen as you start to become a master of multiple things. Right? So, so before you can balance, you need to get obsessed. 
And once you get obsessed, then you can have a lifestyle and a routine and, and, and slow down and have fun along the way. And, but obsession is what needed. Well, actually, you can have fun also when you're obsessed. Absolutely, I love being obsessed. <laughs> what if obsession was a, it was a choice? What if you have to control and be obsessed? What if you don't have to lose everything and still be obsessed? What if you can just explain to your loved ones, hey, for the next six to six months to a year, I'll be obsessed about this. I'll be researching about this. I'll be going to become the best at this. And to do that, I'm going to put all my focus and energy in this. I'm going to be here. I'm going to you know, switch off a couple of times a week. I'm going to be there present for you. But every other second of my week, I'm going to be obsessed. What if you make a choice? What if you're okay? What is nothing wrong with that? We make it wrong. We make it wrong that we work too much. We make it wrong that we are, um, you know, too focused on one thing. But what if that was the, the way, the path to success? I've studied so many successful people and I've seen a common denominator, obsession. They get obsessed about the result and they do everything they can to achieve it. So what if you try on? Try on if it was like if it was a dress. Try obsession for a week. I don't have, you don't have to do it for forever, but try ob obsession. Try to choose to be obsessed about your business. Try to choose to be obsessed about your relationship. And I would like you to watch the negative connota connotation with the word obsession. Obsession is simply thinking about one thing over and over and over again. Doesn't mean to be um, wrong. Just don't make it wrong. Just make it like, you're focusing 100% of your energy on this thing so you're going to become the best at it. And guess what? Your future self will be so grateful to you to you for making this decision today. So go and try this, try this dress on, put your obsession dress on and see how much result, how much commitment, how much um, you know change will happen into your life, into your business, whatever you're focusing on in just one week of being obsessed. And when you've done that, you're going to go, holy guacamole, maybe this is worth it. Maybe I'll forget about balance for a little bit and I just go with this. Put all your energy into it and you'll see a massive, massive change in your life. I look forward to seeing your comments about this. Go ahead and get obsessed because it's super worth it. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you next week. Next week. If you enjoyed listening to this podcast, then you have to come check out the Entrepreneur's Abundance Mindset Mastermind. It's my monthly mastermind when you get to spend time with me, where we take all this material, we apply it, we study it, and so we can take your business to a whole new level. So just go to the Francesca Moy, the Meetup Queen Facebook business page, and then just send me a message and you'll be able to choose the option EAM Mastermind. I would love to have you join me there and I'll see you next week.